Uh, hello, right, this is Tomcat. And Ninetales. We're commentating on a round four. round four. I think this is the final round of Swiss match between Churo and Brobear. They've decided to go very off characters at Gamer. They always talk about Gamer. I guess it's like a hidden passion, a hidden dream, a hidden fantasy. The play of Gamer. I guess uh, since they're friends, they just decided to be somewhere. Oh, and here comes Mom. This is interesting. So, um... They just decided to go random. Robert and Churo are, um, are doubles winners today. They're a team, the Fudinari Bros, and now they're facing off in Swiss. Yeah, oh, and Mom's coming out! Will she make a kill? No. Mom Spaghetti coming in hot! I'm not even really sure how to commentate this since this is the same thing. Well, we got a very, um, we got one of the more interesting gamer setups. This is the one with the, the thick, like the non drop through ceiling on the whole left side of the stage. So it's got a canyon effect, or, you know, it's sort of like going into that bottom area in Temple. People, yeah. when you fight down there, can live to really high percents because you just keep bouncing up and down. Yeah. Oh man, mom's breaking in through the window like a burglar. I am, I'm gonna be honest here, I'm not even really sure if I should take this match up, like this match seriously. This is a serious match because this decides who gets to go into top eight and who else also gets to go into top eight. <laughs> so, no matter what, they're in top eight, it's eight or seven. <laughs> they're just playing for a seat. Right about at this moment. They look at Cap. Or the dog. It does determine seating in top eight, which can be important. Um, potentially, you know, whoever gets the higher seat. Ooh, wow, Lucina gets a that really a, good, whatever you call that move. Shield breaker. Shield breaker thrusting, plunging, sort of. Wait, Wait, no. Raymond gives equipment to go here and he took off the and I didn't know Oh, okay, I didn't realize they're actually playing random characters. Yeah, they go, they do this a lot, they just go random. That's fun. I do that with my friends and friends sometimes, but. Oh, and Mom makes the critical hit on Churro. Pissed. She's always pissed because these kids are out past their bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh. Grub, uh, Chiro Shield is very, uh, low from what I saw. Probably be back to normal right about now. Yeah, gotta be, watch out for that shield breaker. Oh, and Mom breaks it! Mom <laughs> breaks the shield! Can Chiro get out? Oh, he can't! Oh! <laughs> Mom broke his shield. <laughs> Churro, how many of your shields are you broke? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the third time in three games, in the last three games, Churro's had a shield broken. All on a run. All on a run. This is really funny. This is not true. Even funnier, his shield is broken by Mom. Mom's the most OP character in this game. What? <laughs> we didn't quite get to see the conclusion, but it looks like that set was about to be won by Mom. What character is Mom, guys? Who is that? Is that true? Yeah, it was true. Yeah, true. Yeah, true. Yeah, true. Yeah. All right. Well, that was an interesting game. <laughs> Let's see if we go, um, you know, what the heck counter pick they're going to do and who the heck they're going to be. I have no idea. Are, you not, are they not going to do the new game? <laughs> But that was funny. Although this is this is not Truro's day. Oh well, I mean he did take the game. It's just not the day for Truro's shield. <laughs> I have had a shield set reset. I'm not going to see it. Actually, that's another interesting statistic. Not only has he had his shield broken three one time in each of the last three games, but he also won each of those three games <laughs> in spite of the shield break. All right, but it looks like they're getting more serious because Brobear has dropped his chip on his main. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. god. And we got Villager coming back out. That was, yeah. Chiro likes to be that default number one Villager. Are we gonna go back to Gamer? Or are we just gonna go to... This is gonna see his character as I expect a serious stage, but maybe, maybe not. Yeah. Oh, it looks like PlayStation 2. That's PS2. serious enough. PS2. <laughs> yeah, PS2. It's got a very good system. If you have one. Alright. Puts a tree on the platform, strangely. He's probably by accident, I think. <laughs> He's trying to, trying to keep Zero Suit out with the watering can. It's one of the funniest things in the game. It's like, oh, you're gonna knee me in the face? Watering can! <laughs> Is this friendly stuff? It didn't even work, too. He still made it through the watering can. Yeah. 
Alright, well, even percent so far. And, uh, Truro's getting in the zone with his, uh, zoning. Oh. I wonder if a shield would break this time. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I almost want to bet money on it. Yeah. Except I don't. I don't seriously, it's not the most shield-breaking character. Yeah, but it would be funny if it breaks. Yeah. And there's no mom to assist with the shield break either. Yeah. I actually remember Xeno got like a shield break Falcon Punch on someone in the last week as well. I don't remember that. I think it was G-Man, but I can't remember. Oh! Oh, uh, this time. Oh. Yeah. Sometimes, um, one of the things you can do while you're in the ground is you can mix up how much, how rapidly you jet, um, try to escape. Just because that can throw off the kind of move people are trying to hit on you. Yeah. For instance, if you're going up against a leaf it, sometimes they try to header you, because header's one of the hardest punishes you can get. These is Lloyd. Wow, Lloyd travels really weird off of that. What the heck? Oh man, these, this, this sucks becoming a joke. Wow. This mount is pretty interesting. <laughs> That's like one of the best things ever. <laughs> it's funny because Lloyd's like tilted and he's like, hey! <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Keep coming <laughs> Alright, uh. So, I mean. So far, they're still on first time. Seriously, trying. Maybe trying to edge guard Villager. Villager is just a pain to try to edge guard, though. You gotta just make a lot of hard reads on how villagers approaching the stage. Kind of like Meta Knight from Rock. Yeah. And there's the first spot. Wow. Up smash kill by Zero Suit. Both players went to really high percent for that to happen. Yeah. Oh, ooh, that bowling ball almost came out. Down to save Zero Suit there, though. Yeah. She, like, put her ankles in. Whoa. Breaking range. Yeah. <laughs> You can avoid that zero suit taser at the edge by just riding up exactly the um, side, that, like right against the wall of the stage. Back there's gonna take that stock. And uh, making sure you snap right to the edge. It, yeah. It's possible to avoid it, but it's hard. If you're not very careful, that taser can get you caught right into forward smash from zero suit. Yeah. Oh, wow, that was cool. But, uh, I think it was a slingshot that I'm sure it used to hit zero suit out of the flip kick, right? Yeah. Alright, well, here we go. And we're in the wind zone. This is this is the best area for us. Yeah. Okay. Good. I'm glad you agree with me. This is like by far and large the best transformation of the stage. For CSS. For everyone. It's just fun to play here. Oh man, you are getting hard punished. Stops him with a. What? The reason this is good for CSS is because of the way that down air works. It yeah. gives Zero Suit the option to return to the stage instantly, which most characters don't get in this zone. Yeah. Oh, chic. Oh, yeah, chic. Any character that has that plummeting uh, kick, so... Down air. Like, plummeting, down air, down beat. Uh, um, Sonic, and then, like, Link the Links. And yeah. Bowser. Yeah. Like, yep. with his down air and down beat, right? Yep, both. Yeah. And... Oh. Yeah, there goes the jump. That's gonna be, uh, game two going to Bro Bear, so... This set is now going to game three. Will they take it seriously? Let's find out. Uh, I think they will. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, six points right now. Cool. Six points? Yeah, we have the. You get one. Uh, uh, okay. Oh, uh, D Day. Oh, I got it. Uh, you get one too. Alright. Like wow, so yeah. this is. A serious match, it's just not their mains. Yeah. Um, Bro Bear has been doing Game & Watch in, in doubles, but this is, I think, the first time I'm seeing him do it in singles. Yeah. And uh, Chura's been Little mac for a while now. Yeah. Oh, uh, one of Little Mac's worst stages because the tree. Yeah, I wonder, um, well, I mean, uh, these guys are, you know, buds, and yeah. no one's really jerks here in this tournament, so I doubt we'll see a... Little Mac uh, timeout, but that is something that can happen on the stage, so. Yeah. Um, Juro was the ability to ban if you knew he was going to Little Mac against someone else who wasn't going to be a jerk, or who would be a jerk, probably should ban the stage in the future. Yeah. Oh, wow. I always. Like, oh, wow. What do you Demon think Watch about. getting some good edge um, guards there, but it didn't actually turn into a KO. <laughs> <laughs> 
trying to do a reverse, a uh, reverse camp there. Uh, did you know that apparently if you uh, kill a bunch of deer, it does nothing? Um, it doesn't do nothing, but it's significantly weaker. Like, no, there's no hits done on it, just deals, it just does damage. Like, uh, no knockback, no hits done. No, it has, it does, it has knockback, it's just a lot less. Yeah, but it might as well not exist. Yeah, it, on what the move is supposed to do. Yeah, it kills at, like, lower percents than regular little mech smashes and stuff. Yeah. Um, actually, though, one of the cool things about um, KO Punch is it has a lot, a lot of momentum to it, sideways. So yeah. if Little Mac gets launched, like, sideways off the stage to a point where he normally can't recover, but that launch hit also puts his KO Punch online, he can use it as a recovery as well. Wow, and the roll is all it took to get behind that forward smash and punish with a down smash. Due to rage, he was able to kill him, plus Game Rock being the... Plus him second. being Little Mac, all those things combined to that definitely being a kill. Yeah, plus the fact that uh, Game Watch is like... The second lightest character? Not anymore. Third lightest now that Mewtwo exists. Oh, so Mewtwo's the second lightest? Yep. Uh, Weirdly, in spite of being like also in the top 10 for size. Yeah. Actually, I don't know what he is. He's, he's pretty big though. He's yeah. not the, he's not the tallest, but he's like overall just big. Alright, that put KO Punch online and took it offline all in one <laughs> stroke. And He got KO'd. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, now... Uh, it seems like the match is... Throw Bear is at a slight disadvantage. Er, but yeah. Still at a slight disadvantage. So so that was a that, nine hand. Yeah, um, Game & Watch has a lot of uh, moves, disjointed hitboxes, with all the little weird, like, Game & Watchy things he pulls out. Yeah. So you should try to use those maybe to um, space himself a little better against the back. But if he's willing to risk it, he could, go for, he could try to go for the nine hammer setup. Yeah, the nine hammer will uh, kill for sure at this point. Um, I just don't like Game Watch for the simple fact that he has like a uh, like oh if I'm lucky I can kill you instantly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Game Watch is one of the most RNG heavy characters in the game just because of that. Yeah. Ah, big... oh, missed it. The next probably being Luigi. Yeah, and then no matter. With the KO punch. Oh, but that's not, um... It's not RNG, but still, it's like, you can still kill stupid in the area. Alright, so while we were discussing that, Bro Bear read a roll, I think it was, yeah, and got an roll. up smash, and that was gonna be game two. What was the game count? 2-1. Uh, 2-1 <laughs> for, for Bro Bear. So, good game to both players. Uh, nine tails versus Charlie. We'll definitely be seeing both of them in, uh, the top eight. Yeah.